In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to install and uninstall the Microsoft Edge browser using the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. This script works great for new installs, upgrading to new versions, and uninstalling any existing or previous versions of the Microsoft Edge browser. I encourage everyone to reference the Microsoft Edge install and uninstall PowerShell blog post for the most up-to-date step-by-step instructions and the links to all the necessary downloads, as the information may be updated from time to time. First, we will download the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. I've downloaded the zip file to the C Downloads directory. Next, we want to remove the zone identifier from the zip file. To accomplish that, open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell, select Run as Administrator, enter the following command to remove the zone identifier. Now if we check the zip file properties, the unblock option has been removed. Next we want to extract the contents of the zip file, enter the following command. As you can see, we've extracted the contents of the zip file to C downloads PADT. Next, we will enter the following commands to copy the app deploy toolkit and files folders to a new folder at C downloads Microsoft Edge. I like to keep my scripts as dynamic as possible so they can handle multiple scenarios, such as the ability to install the 32-bit version of Microsoft Edge on 32-bit systems and the 64-bit version of Microsoft Edge on 64-bit systems. Next we will download both the 32-bit and 64-bit MSI installers for Microsoft Edge. Open a browser to the Microsoft Edge downloads page. Select the channel version of your choice. Select the build version you want to deploy. Select the Windows 32 platform. Click download. Read and accept the Microsoft license terms. Now select the Windows 64-bit platform. Click download. Accept the Microsoft license terms. Copy both the 32-bit and 64-bit MSIs to C Downloads Microsoft Edge files. Next, we want to copy the PowerShell script located on the blog post. Then we can open the PowerShell ISE, which is the integrated scripting environment. And paste in the code. Then we can save the script to the C downloads Microsoft Edge directory and name the file deploy-microsoftedge.ps1. Click Save. OK, all the hard work is done, and now we can install or uninstall Microsoft Edge using one single PowerShell script. I wanted to take a few moments to explain a few details of the script for clarification. The pre-installation section will check for any existing versions of Microsoft Edge and uninstall them prior to installing the version you want to deploy. The installation section will install either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of Microsoft Edge based on the operating system architecture. If you prefer not to include the desktop shortcut, 
you can add the following parameter to the PowerShell script. If you are using a software deployment tool such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager Configuration Manager, everything inside the C Downloads Microsoft Edge folder would be your source files for a package or application. You can delete all the other files in the downloads directory. In this first example, we will perform a silent install of Microsoft Edge using the PowerShell script. Open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell and selecting Run as Administrator. Change the directory to the C Downloads Microsoft Edge folder. Enter the following command. Logging functionality is built in automatically and we can monitor the progress of the installation under C Windows Log software. After a few moments you should see the Microsoft Edge desktop shortcut appear. You will also find entries in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. Now we can perform a silent uninstall simply by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall. We can see that Microsoft Edge is no longer in programs and features in the control panel. And we can see in the log file that the uninstall completed successfully. In this next example, we will use the interactive deploy mode that will show dialogues including progress and balloon tip notifications. It will also prompt the user to close Microsoft Edge if the browser happens to be open. I also added the do not create desktop shortcut equals true parameter to the PowerShell script to demonstrate the install without a desktop shortcut. I went ahead and installed Microsoft Edge and opened the browser to demonstrate the prompt the end user will see to close Microsoft Edge when the browser is open. Okay, we can see that Microsoft Edge uninstalled and then reinstalled, but this time there's no desktop shortcut. Now we can perform an interactive uninstall simply by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall. We can see that Microsoft Edge has been removed from programs and features in the control panel. And we can also confirm that the uninstall completed successfully in the log file. As a friendly reminder, always make sure to test everything in a development environment prior to implementing anything into production. The information in this video is provided as is, without warranty of any kind. For more free PowerShell scripts, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.